right, welcome here today for some football lacrosse. Club Lacrosse, Providence College taking on Holy Cross. Tim Duffy on the call alongside Matt Jolis, who's going to come out, come upstairs too. He's just getting some insider information from down below. But we got four 15 minute quarters on the clock. This game about to begin. And it should be a good one between two teams who will meet later in the year. And this game is underway. And now here comes uh, the man himself, Matt Jolis. And Matt, you were getting some good information down below. Yeah, welcome to a uh, freezing cold fall ball <laughs> from Chappie's Field. <laughs> uh, it has been an absolutely bonkers day here in Providence. It's been 50 degrees, windy, pouring rain. Most of the day, this field is super slick. So they're going to have to watch a lot with uh, ground ball control today. Yeah, for sure. 100%. So we're 34 seconds in this game. Holy Cross. Trying to get the first shot of the game. It's Matthew Rem. Giving it back up to Carter Titus. Titus trying to find the middle. Titus backpedals. Puts that X. For Jackson Harris. Harris lost his footing. Harris trying to get to the middle. Harris has a lane. Harris got it saved. And you had a Crusader diving for it at the end. It was La Posta, but it's going to go back to Providence College. So this game was originally supposed to be at 2 o'clock this afternoon, got shuffled because of the Providence College women's soccer team making the Big East playoffs. They played a quarterfinal game against St. John's. That game was one o'clock, so this game got shifted to four, and now we've got coaches refing the game because of the, uh, the time change. There's no official referees. So we have, uh, we have coaches refing the, uh, the game today. Wow. Welcome to fall ball, like I said. Hopefully it's not unethical. <laughs> any of these uh, officiating calls. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's, this is a scrimmage game in reality. You know, this is just getting the kinks out of the system, getting ready for the spring when the NCLL season really comes into play. But if you're Providence College and especially like PC and Holy Cross, this is a game that you're going to circle on your schedule when the NCLL season comes to play in earnest in the spring. Absolutely. Here's a great spin move, a shot. They got deflected by the goaltender, Sean McCarthy. So great look for number six. And yeah, uh, yes, another shot. That's a goal. First of the game for Providence College. A score to put him up one nothing. A little bit less than three minutes into this game. And we don't have the Providence College names, but a lot of the names are on the back of the jersey. And number 20, not one of them. So a goal there for Barry Sanders. <laughs> for Barry Sanders. Yeah, we'll go to fall ball where, you know, the, the points are made up and so too are the names <laughs> as well too. Um, you've got three different types of uh, jerseys out there for Providence College right now. And uh, some of those players hopefully will get jerseys with their names on the back of it when we get into into March and into the uh, you know into the season in earnest. As this loose ball is a, been a fight for it for about 15 seconds, it's kicked on the other side of the field, it's still alive, and it'll be taken out of thin air by Joe Facone up ahead. Congdon 
swings it to La Posta. Chance here for Holy Cross trying to even things up. Yeah, for Providence College, for a, a kid who does have a name on the back of his jersey, just ran right out of the field right there, number 27, Fleming. Watch him. If he gets a ball and he can have space, speed, and an absolute rifle of a shot from distance. That's Colin Fleming, the junior right there. Hard to believe that kid's a junior. <laughs> Listed on the roster, he's highlighted green, which means he's on internship or he's abroad. He's here. <laughs> he is here. Here's a shot. That one tries to bounce it home. That was Pat Nissel, and it will be picked up by Providence College, who will reset and charging across midfield, giving up. Waiting for numbers here. Oh, there's Charmin. There's Charmin trying to get by Mike Ryan. Charmin shot. He scores a bullet to go up two zip. As Jake Sherman with the goal. Yeah, that's a player whose name you'll call a heck of a lot in the spring season. So it looks like the clock is just continuing to run after goals. This clock is funky. It's skip, it, it's skipping so about five seconds. It's because this is a this is a weird situation with uh, with the way that clock works. If you they are running it from inside of the press box, which is to our broadcast right, it is actually wired in. It's a ported wire in. If they're running it from down on the field, which they do for the club games, it's wireless, and the connection in bad weather is not the greatest, and you'll see it skip around a lot. So the, the clock is accurately running, but it's the wireless connection between the scoreboard controller and the scoreboard itself uh, that's making it do that. Great explanation there from Matt Jolis. Here's Caden Lee. That shot gets saved. And, you know, we, we're familiar, you know, just a little bit with some technical difficulties on site at some of these games, so we completely understand. There goes a Crusaders player with no, no number on the back of the jersey. Just with the white tee. Here comes, or the purple tee, rather. Here comes Providence College again. Seven minutes into this first quarter. It's been... Going by quickly, and the Friars are up 2 nothing. Coming off the sideline, giving it up in the middle. Here's a good chance for a shot, trying to bounce it home. Couldn't get it, but it got saved behind the net. Kicking it out. Yeah, watch this left side right here, right now, here with the 6 of Owen Shelley, the 10 of Jake Sherman. Gives it up at the top. Now here's Shelley. Sherman. They're taking their time on this possession here. Here's a shot. That one gets saved hard by McCarthy, and it will go back to Holy Cross. And here comes the man with no number in the back to his goaltender. McCarthy, nice little deep, got the Holy Cross sideline riled up a little bit. Charging up the middle. It's Mike Ryan. Gives it up to Lorenzen. Wyatt Lorenzen trying to get through traffic. Lorenzen does that. The LSM has a shot that gets deflected and it'll be taken by Harris. And now some shoving in front of the net between Lorenzen and a Fryer. And you know, that's what you like to see in fall ball, some, uh, some energy, you know? Yeah, get, Some fiery yeah, nature. Yeah. Get out there, you know. Get the get the chirping going early. Make them know what you want to say. Talk about the spring. <laughs> Just don't come after anybody's family. That is one of the morals to life. 
That pass in the middle is going to get by Sam Delman, go out of play. It will stay with the Crusaders. Actually, no, I lied. It's going back to PC. Six minutes remain here in the first quarter. Here's Fleming. And whistle's blowing. And one of the coaches making the call there, like Matt said, you know, we have coaches officiating the game today. Goes back to Holy Cross. Here's Nissel. You're too high up. See how you have too much. The poster. Max Congdon going left. Congdon takes that left-handed shot. It's going to go too tall, out of bounds. Stays with Holy Cross, though. As they were there first. There's Harris. Jackson Harris slicing through. Lost the handle on the ball. It's taken away by Providence College. Right in front of the crease. Coming near side with it. Watch out from behind. Another guy with no name on the back of his jersey. And here is Kelleher. Kelleher. Sherman. Sherman coming on. Big number 49 gets it to Donovan Mitchell. Like I said, we don't know. <laughs> we don't have all the names and numbers matched up, but just a friendly reminder. Province College, though, the boys up 2 nothing. here in some fall ball club lacrosse action. And it's ripped from behind, and Ryan is going to pick that one up on the near side. No, he's going to tap it up ahead. He's still alive. And it's on the ground. Laposta will track it down and find that ball. Laposta swings it inside. Harris pumping. Harris getting to the hole, and he missed it wide right. Stays with Holy Cross with three and a half to go. Laposta spinning. Gives it up. That shot is a goal for Matt Rem. A laser beam. Getting it upstairs and it makes it a 2-1 game with three minutes to go here in the first. Yeah, one right up top got Lally to kind of duck down a little bit. Thought he was going to go low, so it probably faked the head of his stick down just a slight bit. Got him to go down and then stuck it upstairs. It's a good goal. And like you said, it was a laser beam. It was a, that was a hard shot. And face off is going to be tipped around and pushed him on the back. Goes back to Holy Cross. I think the uh, correct phrase is you can't do that. <laughs> You can't. Pumping. Oh, what a drop to get free, and that shot gets saved. Oh, he takes wow. a late, takes a huge shot afterwards. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, you saw the Holy Cross sideline getting amped with that little ankle breaker there. But what a save! And then the subsequent hit afterwards. Just the whole lot of emotions right there on that play. That was crunch, crunch. <laughs> that was both players got hit. Here's Titus. A 
Nice spin by No Name. His shot is saved. Final minute of the first quarter. PC trying to add one more before the buzzer sounds. Sherman gives it to Shelley. Driving inside, trying to get free. Gives it up. That one gets by him. Final 20 seconds of the period. We get near side, and he is wrestled up from behind by Facone, and Facone able to put it on the ground. Picked up by the Friars, though. Last chance. That's an errant pass. Picked up by Sherman. His shot gets saved, and that is going to end the first quarter. 2-1. The score after one, and we come back. Providence College trying to extend this lead, but holy cross, we're getting a little back in just a moment here on Fans Only Sports. Here for quarter number two, we switch sides as Providence College clinging on to this 2 1 lead and trying to get some good damage here in the second quarter. Tim Duffy joined by Matt Jolis here in the booth, and it's been a solid first quarter. It's a good first 15 between PC and Holy Cross, and I'm sure we're going to see these two teams play again later in the year, but some fall ball. And Matt, what do you make of this so far here today? Yeah, I like the physicality out of both of these sides. Obviously showing that they can, uh, two teams that can play with a lot of emotion. So that's a really good thing to see from uh, from these two sides. I think for, uh, for Providence College, maybe a little bit more ball control, maybe a little bit more rotation. Didn't see them go into that X too many times. Uh, so we'll see if they open it up a little bit more here in the second quarter. Don't have to always go just straight in. Here's Facone, who back pedals, and let's see if they can try to tie the game. I mean, it was a good end of the first quarter for Holy Cross, and Facone, he's limping. He is, looked like he was for a sec. He just slams the ball at the end of the play. I think it was his shoulder, is what they said on here on the Holy Cross sideline. Yeah, he got, he got kind of held up a little bit. Looked like he almost got wrapped around and <laughs> we won't repeat what, what he just say? said we can't repeat that on <laughs> air <laughs> can't wait to hear it at halftime i missed it we are directly above where the holy cross benches and that was some fruity language as they say in ted lasso <laughs> <Go around. laughs> 
Here is Connor Knee. Spinning. Tough angle, too tall. Sails on him, but picked up behind the net by Harris. Right at X. Harris trying to get around and create his own shot. Runs into a wall. Harris puts it up for grabs, and it's saved. Right back to Providence College. Good outlet to an open LSM. Holy Cross wasn't looking behind them. Pass, shot, score. Makes it 3-1. Great movement, like you said, start with that open outlet pass to the LSM. And then bada bing, bada boom. I know our clock does say 15 minutes. The the 13. scoreboard has been like so funky that like I don't know what they're doing with it timing wise. Like it actually did just tick and then all of a, it did just tick and then all of a sudden it's now stopped at 1321. So I, I think we're just gonna kind of you know now it just went to 1317 from 1321. It's been pretty <laughs> funky all game. I so think I think we're just gonna we're just gonna like call this game out and not really worry about timing rules. In I this think one. um they're only stopping it after a goal. What but they didn't during the first quarter. They didn't though. Yeah, that was that was peculiar. That's what I'm saying. Who even knows? <laughs> it's fall ball. Right. It's Ooh, fall ball. <laughs> Newton was going airborne right there almost, which is over the top of a fryer. There's some good rotation from the Friars. Now they're opening it up a little bit more. And another goal. They open it up in a wide open hole on the left side of the net. Makes it 4-1. The Friars are pouring it on right now here in the first half. And you know, we mentioned we were right above the Crusaders sideline. You can tell they have quieted down a little bit in the last couple of minutes. Two goals in 54 seconds for Providence College. <laughs> See, it just went from 12.27 to 12.23 without there being a face-off. <laughs> <laughs> so it happens, it happens, you know? This one is going. Holding. On, holding. Yeah, holding. It's Providence College and goes back to Max Congdon and Holy Cross. A goal here would help their case out a lot. They've been quiet. They've been shut down by this very physical Providence College defense on their own side of the field. Charging through. Here's a chance. A shot. That one hits the post. Big bounce. Finds its way over to Nissel. Nissel feeds it. Finds the open lane. Congdon and that one was just way too high. Didn't even have a chance to get on that. That clock just went from just had a 12 second jump. That was funny. But here is no name from behind the net. Mr. No Name puts it inside. Other no name. He scores. <laughs> the mystery man makes it 4 2. Houdini. And Holy Cross trims the. Deficit down to a pair of goals. I gotta give him dap for that powder blue helmet, though. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty that, tough. <laughs> that's a that's a sleek cascade down there. So three goals in a minute and fifty nine seconds between the two teams. Two from Providence, and then the last one, as you just saw, from Holy Cross. This one's loose at center, at midfield. It's still alive, and a big hit from behind. They're going to call an infraction. And then hit afterwards. What is going on? That is the second time I have seen a Holy Cross player, like, literally go up after a PC player after a whistle. And it's like, I, I mean, I know lacrosse players play with emotions, but, like, come on, guys. <laughs> There's Cole Malnati in the thick of it for Holy Cross. Getting caught up in his emotions a little bit there. 
reciprocated action though among both teams. And we did have the big fight between uh, Bryant and Brown last year in the playoffs that happened. How big was it? I actually uh, didn't even see that fight. Enough that uh, enough that it it cost uh, it cost Bryant their place in the uh, NCLL playoffs. Really? They got disqualified. Brown ended up having to play UMass and ended up winning and getting into the national tournament. Damn. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that on air. That one snatched out of midair. And Henderson lost the ball. We apologize for the fruity yeah. language from Tim Duff. I, I apologize. That's maybe the worst moment of my career right there. Here's Mr. No Name again. Coming near side. No name. Houdini gets it back to uh, the other Houdini. The other Houdini. <laughs> you got a lot of purple jerseys with no numbers on it on the Holy Cross side right now. Delman Harris inside. Good chance. Shot saved. It was taken by Connor Neen. Was snatched out of midair. Here's the goaltender launching past center or midfield rather, and a fight for it. It'll be taken by Houdini, who gets shoved out of bounds by Howes and. He talked some smack afterwards. Yeah, great awareness by Sean Lally, the PC goaltender, to sneak out and scoop that one up. Also tried to break the defense a little bit by coming up to midfield to throw that one through, but uh, didn't really have open space in the alleyway as it got caught by a Holy Cross player. But Hal's great defensive stop shoving the Holy Cross player out of play. He said, none of that get out of my barn. Right back to PC. We'll be in the barn next door in a couple hours for PC men's club hockey. Sure will be. Beautiful Schneider Arena as that one is turned over. I know you and I have spent a number of hours in that building. Sure have. Over the years. Great gym in there too at Schneider Arena. We, uh, we did a game like right. I don't know if it, I don't think it was with you, but what's the other field over there? This is another field that you can access off the Schneider balcony, right? Like the gym upstairs. Oh, you're talking about yeah. behind us, Lennon Field. Yeah, that the, girls the field hockey and game. girls lacrosse complex, Lennon Field. Yeah, and you get in a little bird's nest uh, from the uh, from inside of uh, the gym. It's a beautiful campus, Providence College, and people kind of underrate it. In the Rhode Island college scene, but um, I would never go here. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who went to URI. I went to URI. <laughs> I'm too close to I'm too close to Providence. So I, I would have been I would have been forced to live at home probably. I'm not gonna reveal my hometown though on air. <laughs> you have before. I have I have many times. I just want anyone doxing me from Providence College. Anyways. PC on the move trying to convince me that this school is a great time. Up 4-2. Over halfway through the second quarter shot. Oh, score! No! Hit no, the side. Hit the side of the net! Oh, Yo. man. That was a cheeky angle and almost made it work. I think that everybody fooled. There he goes again! And that one scores! You can't get it once, try again, and that is a goal. Makes it a 5-2 game with just under seven to go in this first half. And what a shot. I mean, he had the first ripper from a similar spot, and then that one, better look. Gets it upstairs and makes it a three-goal lead. Largest lead of the game tied for it for Providence College. Who is in very comfortable position now. This one's loose. PC trying to get a good grasp on it. And here they go. Runs into a wall of purple jerseys and... Yeah, fair call from 
the referee there for a push from behind. Trying to trying to gain possession on the ground ball and significantly impacted. Pumping. Thought about the shot. Going backwards. Puts it inside. That one is tipped and taken by Providence College. They reset here. Five and a half to go. Spinning, shooting, wide right. Stays with Providence College though as they the first through the ball there. Nice wiggle, shot, score! Got it downstairs and ripped it through. Five hole to make it six to a half dozen on the board in the first half for the Friars. Dirty on the deck, put it right down across the turf. That thing just skipped in. A six pack of goals. Sure did. And what a goal. That might have been the you know, most impressive goal we've seen today, arguably. Under five to go now here in the first half. Picking that ball up is Providence College. Spinning out of some trouble. Taking that midfield. PC putting on a clinic. Lost the ball in his footing a little bit. Being trapped by Ryan and Lorenzen, and Lorenzen is able to take it away. And turns it over. Good chance for PC, and they score another one. Just caught it on the turnover, and that's two goals in 37 seconds for the Friars. And they have been heating up their fifth goal here of the second quarter. Yeah, Biscardi getting that seventh goal for the Friars and one of those X players those X factor players that you want to watch in that uh, second line for the Friars so it is Nick Biscardi the junior able to make it a 7-2 to two game largest lead growing for Providence College it's balloon to 5 Yeah, the S's are the guys that we'll talk a lot about in the spring, Sherman and Shelley. But, yeah, when you get Biscardi out there, you get Fleming out there. It's, uh, there's some tough guys to try to stop as well. Condon's a great player from the midfield. A little short stick midi. Three and a half minutes to go. You know, next time we come here to Providence College, I'm sure we'll have more favorable roster and warmer weather and warmer weather that one is <laughs> saved and they're going to say crease violation first against providence college so it's going to go back to holy cross regardless I feel you feel like Holy Cross has not possessed the ball in a while. Yeah, it's been very slanted towards Providence College in terms of possession, and it's been the ability to also not just have possession, but control and maintain the possession, the pace of the play, moving it around the field, getting the good rotation, making sure they're opening things up, using all their players. Zlali just scoops that one up off of the turf.
Downfield, a little bit too tall on the pass, and Lorenzen's able to take it away for Holy Cross. Just over two minutes to go here in the first half. Gets to the Houdini. Got a lot of them on this team. Harris. <laughs> pass inside, running. To, was Rem, and Rem can't hold on to the ball. He see the other direction now. Giving it up, low shot, and a score, another one. What movement in transition for Providence College, and it's a six goal advantage for the Friars. Yeah, it's again, it's when they open up that transition play, and we've seen that when Sean Lally gets space at goal, and he can be able to get those long distance balls out to an LSM, out to a short stick midi right at the midfield stripe, it opens up the opportunity offensively for PC. They can drive straight through, and they'll, they've got guys that are just snipers. Like this is a team that has been known to be full of snipers, and they still are this year. Sure are. And it looks like they haven't skipped a beat. And this one's turned over. There's this another miscue for Holy Cross on the move now. They got numbers, Providence College, a tangle amongst the six. Final 90 seconds of the first half, and that one's turned over. And Lorenzen's able to get it for Holy Cross. Cross field pass to Ryan. Mike Ryan feeds it, and that one behind his intended man finds Houdini on the lucky bounce. Low ball to Titus. Carter Titus going left. Titus, defender fell down. Titus has a good look and he scores. Carter Titus with the goal. Carter Titus, the man with a lacrosse name. That is a lacrosse name, <laughs> Carter Titus. And he just absolutely bent one. He's got players slipping around like Steph Curry shooting threes. Got a couple of guys falling down there, and after only three goals seen in the first quarter, we've seen eight in the second. As these two teams starting to get their rhythm, one, you know, largely more so than the other. As Providence College winning the quarter right now, six to two, and can they get one more? It's a false start on the faceoff going back to Holy Cross. And our cameraman, Jake LaMantra, said that he is one of the best face-off guys in the state of Rhode He's Island for high school or so. He's capping. Province College Club. If you guys are watching this afterwards, make sure you go watch some Jake LaMantra tape there at East Province High School, right next door. And he'll be, he'll be in college in two school years from now. Here's Houdini going right, trying to find that look. And they capitalize off... The face-off miscue from PC. Final 20 seconds of the quarter. That one is too tall and turned over. Going back to Providence College. It was well over the head of Caden Lee there. Final 15 seconds of the first half. Up the middle. Trying to slice it right. Get some space. Runs into a wall. Lost the ball. About yard sale. Lots of stick yeah, too. A little bit of a yard sale indeed. Final seconds. That is going to and the first half. Whistles blew beforehand, but they're just going to get everyone on the field into their huddles. It's 8-3 to three at halftime. Providence College leads it as they had an onslaught of a second quarter, scoring a half dozen goals in the period. When we come back, got 30 more minutes of this one as PC trying to close out the deal here at home.
All right, back here for half number two. It was a quick half time. It only took six of the ten minutes to get it going. On the second half, Tim Duffy, Matt Jolis, and Matt, that first half was a lot of fun if you're a Friar fan. Up 8-3 at the break, and it looked like they just couldn't be stopped yeah, or I think contained. That, I think that first that. half was fun if you're a lacrosse fan. It was just some good lacrosse, actually. Sure but was. Uh, the Friars, you know, we've mentioned this and you know, so many times. They get that ball in transition, that open transition that they have, having a goaltender like Sean Lally in net, and you get that open transition out right into the midfield straight, and they just have the ability to move the ball around so efficiently once they have it inside the uh, the lower third. I say that as Sean Lally takes a seat on the bench, and <laughs> they've got a new goaltender. Which one's Lally? What number? Oh, zero. He, he was the goaltender. He was the goalie, number zero, and uh, yeah, now they've got a... Uh, now they got a new goalie in. McCarthy stays in for Holy Cross. Slipping down. And a good chance for PC right off the bat. Almost scored within the first four seconds of the quarter. And or four seconds. The I clock mean, is stuck at 14. Oh, it just went to 1440 oh, all of a sudden. Took 50, this clock is at some Oh, here we now go. Some more issues, here we go. Some quarreling right in front of the... PC net, and this is the second time we've seen a little bit of talking after the play here in this one, and it's just some crazy stuff for fall ball action. They're just getting the, the emotions ready as Joe Facone, he's getting <laughs> taken off the field with the help of his coach, talking some smack, and uh, second time we've heard some uh, some smack talk from the nearby Crusader bench here tonight. Hey, contact to the head locked in two minutes so first penalty we've seen it's big number 139 that's the biggest number we've seen maybe ever but big number 139 is in the box locked in so man up chance here for the Crusaders let's see if they can capitalize down five still a doable comeback right now for Holy Cross. Yeah, Crusaders trying to look like Tyson Fury in the Francis Nagano fight yesterday on the mat and still somehow winning. Let's see if they can do it here. Here's Lee. Feeds it. Rem, who scored earlier, gives it up. Here is Titus, who just scored the last goal for Holy Cross. He couldn't get Shot off. This one's loose. Fight for it. That's in the, the circle. That yeah, there's two two purple jerseys <laughs> in the circle. I was just with the goaltender stick on top of it. I was very peculiar there. I'm surprised it took that long to blow the whistle. It's been a long first minute of this first of the second half, as I should say. PC shorthanded. Let's see if they can make some magic here as they have the ball. Here's Shelley. Shelly gives it up. It's high. It is at midfield and tapped ahead. It'll be over the over and back. Goes back to Holy Cross. Thirty seconds on the penalty. Here's Young or Titus rather, and he. Sailed it. Harris trying to get it to him. That one gets knocked first. A ripper here and a goal. Got it upstairs. It's Pat Nissel with the shot and makes it a four goal game. It's four goals scored by four different Crusaders today. Nissel becomes the fourth, and the goal lead has been trimmed to four.
off the faceoff. Holy Cross with some bodies there, and they're, they're able to get the ball. It's Pat Noonan. Slings it up ahead. Noonan gets it back. This one's loose. Trying to keep it on plus side of the field. It's Holy Cross, and they get jammed. It's Titus, puts a white jersey on his back and now has some room to run. Titus fires and that one gets saved. Still loose. And coming out of the pile with it is the goaltender for Providence College. He's actually listed on the roster as new goalie. <laughs> they didn't so even new, put the kid's <laughs> name on there. It's just a new goalie. So new goalie's in. Shout out to new goalie and just a second half reminder, we do not have the names and numbers matched up for the majority of this Providence College Friar team. But we will for the uh, for the thick of things in the in the regular season for sure. Coming up soon. That's fall ball lacrosse for you. Sure is. Trying to back his way in there. Takes a shot. That one gets saves like a chance and a goal for Shelley. One of the guys whose names we do have, he makes it a 9-5 to five game. Just over 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. And first scoring of the half for PC belongs to Shelley. Yeah, and Owen Shelley is one of those key players, one of those guys, if you're writing a, a list of top five, top ten even players to watch on this Friars roster, when we get into that regular NCLL season, Owen Shelley's going to be one of those guys you're going to want to keep an eye on. And this one's loose. And will be picked up. Oh, oh and a Carroll huge shot just afterwards. got trucked. He did. Just got trucked hard. Right there, villainously, by Joe Facone, who had a lot of things to say in that first half. Lays a hit there and gets back on the sideline. Did his job for a split sec. Here's Nissel who just scored the last Holy Cross goal. And <laughs> Facone coming off the field, calling himself a brick wall. Here's Houdini. That one gets saved. New goalie making some new saves for Providence. Oh, Pick what off. an interception. Good feed, good chance. Harris is shot. He scores. Jackson Harris able to get it in, and holy cross. They feel revived right now, making it a four-goal game again. They've trailed by as much as six. That is the fifth different goal scorer for the Crusaders here today. Tim Duffy, the man of stats. Yes, sir. That's me. Follow my Instagram at t.j.d. I'll follow back. You should literally just change it, change it to Notorious TJD. I feel like I feel like that might get uh, that might be taken already. Yeah. That, that would, that would, that's actually I actually I really do enjoy that nickname that you call me, Notorious TJD. <laughs> it's funny. It's a good. Uh, it'll be a good Twitter handle. <laughs> Does anybody even go on that thing anymore? I use X. <laughs> you use X? I use X sometimes. I don't post on X, but... I'm on Instagram I'm and I'm on call Threads. X. You're on Threads? I'm on Threads. I fun? have a Threads account. I have not dabbled in Threads yet, but my brother does. I, I think I might get it soon. I have, like, suggested Threads posts, and I see some really, you know... Funny stuff. It's just like Twitter, right? Basically it, the same it, thing. Yeah, it is, but it's got, I, I don't know. It's just there's a lot of comedy going on on it right now. <laughs> and Mike Ryan on the other end, he took it away for Holy Cross. Gets to Houdini. Gives it up. Gives a little screen. Harris at the X. About six minutes into this third quarter. On the run, good chance, shot, trying to bounce it home, wide to the left, and Harris is there first to keep it alive for Holy Cross. Yeah. 
Houdini coming near side. Spins out of it. Missile. Lost the ball. He got it poked out of his mitts. Going right. Here's a shot. That one gets saved. And we'll stay with Holy Cross again. A couple of big saves for uh, for new goalie, huh? Might as well give him a little bit of a name. Yeah. Number nice, 18. Nice little kick save there to you knock know, that one away. You know who comes to mind when you hear 18? The Sheriff, Peyton Manning. Biggest forehead in football. Maybe in the history of professional sports. Maybe. Here's Lee. Gets it up to Harris, who first time really not at X. Here's Houdini. Trying to get through his shot. It was almost on target. Just slips by the top left side of the net, but will stay with Holy Cross yet. And you can feel the Crusaders shifting the momentum here in this one. Here's Lee. Low bouncing shot. That one gets saved by Manning. <laughs> These kids are funny, man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that on the air, but at <laughs> home, but this was almost picked off. Take it the other way. It was a bad pass. 24, the only player we actually don't have their name on Holy Cross, so. I guess we'll have to call him Kobe Bryant, man. There is how Hal Lucy and they chopping it up down there on the uh, the PC sideline, basically just trying to get it. Oh, scores five geez. hole. He had the Zeke at midfield, put on the Jets, and makes a three goal game, getting it right between the legs of Manning. What a highlight real goal for Holy Cross. And it's Max Congdon. Yeah, that was kind of filthy. That was pretty filthy indeed. In my humble opinion as well. Another goal! It's another goal! Another Holy Cross goal! And it's 9 7. I mean, the comeback is alive and well here for the Crusaders with 6 14 to go here in the third. They've stormed all the way back. This one's too tall and PC has the ball. PC, they have not scored a goal in a little bit. Three unanswered goals for Holy Cross. I put on the jab step from behind the net. Spinning. Sherman in a wall of purple jerseys just puts it up for grabs and that one is wide to the right. This 
Spinning, gives it up. Shelly. PC needs some momentum here. Shot, Sherman, score! A bullet to make it 10-7. Four and a half minutes to go. Here in the third quarter. Going to his right, PC, shot, too tall. Stay with the Friars though. Just under four minutes to go in this first, in this third quarter. Throw, or not throw, shot is way too tall and that one's gonna go. Out again, but he'll stay with Providence College. 3.20 to go. Shelly gives it to Sherman. Feet at the top, going left. Here's a jumping shot that goes in. What a strike on the right side of the net. Off balance, gets the lead back up to four. Yeah, and you actually just <laughs> really hit the nail on the head right there. He said off balance. He was pulling away to his left hand side, came across his body to hit that one on the right hand side. That is a flyer of a goal. Sure was, Matt Jolis back in the booth joining us. 18 goals so far in this one, seven in this third quarter. That's lacrosse for you. <laughs> he, was, he had three in the first, eight in the second, and seven here in the third. And still two and a half minutes remaining in the quarter. And PC, I mean, we saw them in a little bit of trouble up by as much as six. Had that lead cut down to two, but now in a more comfortable position with 17 minutes of game time to go, leading by four. Trying to get one more before the quarter, and I'm sure they're gonna wanna play their cards right in terms of clock management here on this possession. And it's Holy Cross, a whole lot of momentum gain in this third quarter. Just scoring a lot of good goals. Going near side, trying to find the middle. He does, but snatched out of the air by McCartney. McCarthy, rather. 100 seconds to go in the third. Going near side, got rid of, got rid of it before going out of bounds. That was acrobatic from Nick Marigayas. Holy Cross, 
We'll have an offensive possession here. Here's Houdini. Going right side, takes a shot, bouncing that one off the mark. Connor Knee is chasing it down. He'll stay with Holy Cross as we have a minute to go here in the third. Rain starting to come down a little bit. Here is Houdini spinning. Has a good chance in the middle, and he got that one saved. I think that might have gotten a piece of the post. Final 30 seconds here of the third quarter. PC trying to push it. Spins. Gives up to Sherman. Fifteen seconds to go. Trying to back him down. Gets out of the pile. Shot gets saved. It's still alive. And it will be taken by McCarthy. Who's going to fling this one deep down the field. It gets by Bryant. It's still alive. And this is going to conclude the third quarter. 11-7 to seven the score. And there's 15 minutes to go. Seven goals in the third quarter. As PC enters the final frame, up by four. We'll be right back here on Fans Only Sports Network. going on fans only sports final quarter here as we are on the edge <laughs> of the end of this game 11 to 7 the score is it's a little bit chilly up top here on the second floor of this uh shapey field it's concourse. been chilly all day it's been overcast it's been rainy since m you know the middle of the day today they've had the lights on all day i was here earlier today, the Providence College women's soccer team played the Big East quarterfinals against St. John's 1-3-1. They're off to the semifinals against number one Xavier in a couple of days on, uh, you know, they'll play that game down at Maryland Soccerplex. But uh, it's been cold and rainy all day. <laughs> sure has. It has been frigid. You know, don't leave any of your important belongings outside. Here's Lorenzen. Up to Laposta. He has a chance. Laposta, that one is why the mark. And Snyder, the first one there for Holy Cross to keep it with the Crusaders. Not even 30 seconds into this final quarter. And what a you know, little run the Crusaders had. They had three unanswered goals. They made a two-goal game. After being down as much as 8-2, to two, they made it 9-7. to seven With a PC with the last couple of goals to get this thing out of reach for now for the visiting team. 
Yeah, one of those things about fall ball is, you know, this is your chance to have it be a little bit of a laboratory. T try some different strategies. Try some different line sets. See what's going to work for you. You know, it's like th this is where you want to cook. I like that. I like that. We're the laboratory, you know, try some things out. And whatever adjustments the Holy Cross has made have been working well. But these are two teams that are going to face off later in the year in the spring. A couple of rivals. I think I did their game last year here. I uh, believe you did. I believe you called that game think, last year I think here it at was, I think it was Holy Cross, Quinnipiac, and PC. It was, yep. That, on a yes, that was a That was a triple play day. It sure was. Those are always fun when you get those games. Yeah. No, it really is. Nice little Sunday afternoon. Coming with the boys. Just watch some lacrosse. Man falls down. Spinning. No scoring here in the fourth yet. I think one PC goal would really put them in crisp, crisp position here in the fourth quarter. Losing his balance. He holds the ball though still and scores! Unbelievable. Call up Sports Center top 10. Maybe top 100, but that was smooth and silky. And the pinnacle of fall ball right there. Makes it a 12-7 game. Drip King with the goal. Throwing off the Helmet and gloves and everything coming out here with the the eye black all down his eyes and Shrank had a beautiful job being a part of that play. Was a beautiful play indeed. It's Tommy Quinn, the senior, with the goal, number 92. And that one was impressive. Maybe the most fun goal of the game for PC, and it's a real barn burner for their bench. This one's loose and taken away. PC with some numbers here. Gives it up. Spinning in the middle of the field. Around the net. Low shot gets saved by McCarthy. Try to get in the holy roller right there. McCarthy lets it fly down the field. It is a little bit too long for his intended man. The pass will slim by and it's going to go out of bounds and it's going to go back to Providence College as they win the race of the ball. Sean Lally's back in net for the uh, Friars. And he's going to look to sling this one across midfield. Gets it to his man. Yeah, it's a traditional Sean Lally come up in the third, roll it out into the short stick midi like that. Opens up that Friars offense. And the Friars really trying to open this thing up, get back to the largest lead of the game, which was six goals for them at 8-2. to two. They lead by five. Jab step, run left side, trying to get by Rem. And this one is not a great pass. Goes to the play, and it is going to be a turnover for Providence College. Here's Rem crossing midfield. Rem spins out some trouble. And it's not on the same page at all with Joe Facone. Rem gets it back at midfield. As we are a third of the way through into this final quarter. Ten minutes remain here in this one. That clock just jumped seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this has been some crazy <laughs> clockwork. Here's Nissel. Here's a good feed. Open man is Congdon. Congdon shot. Too tall. 
a bullet right there that goes over the net. Stays with Holy Cross, however. Missile. Going right. Missile has some space, takes a high shot. That one didn't really have a chance at all. Stays with Holy Cross, however. And, you know, Matt, the more I look at this clock, the more I agree with the executive decision to just keep our clock at 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, because this clock, you can't follow it at all. It's, it's you a have tough, no tough clue watch. what it's going to do. It just went from 9.04 to 8.57. It's pretty crazy. And usually it's a very good clock. I mean, I think it's just because the uh, the weather and the and the wireless. Yeah, nature. they're running it off of the wireless device, not the wired in one like they have up here in the uh, press box area. That's to our broadcast right because it was not doing that during the soccer game earlier today when I was here. I'm sure, would be a little bit harder for soccer. Oh, a huge shot! Houdini lays the boomstick. I think the flag's out, too. Yeah, elbow, high elbow. And then he's going to go in the box. Is that a towel they're using as the flag? <laughs> that is correct. That's a chamois. <laughs> That's a chamois that they're using as the flag. With 8.25 to go here in the quarter, here in the game. And only one goal seen in the fourth quarter so far today. Little pump gives it up. Like that feeling from the uh, Holy Cross coaches down there saying, rest of the game, just stay positive, play hard. And that shot may have hit the post. And it's going to go back to Holy Cross. There is their chance to execute on that now. <laughs> stay positive, play hard. And it looks like both these teams, you know, trying to stay positive and play hard, but PC doing a better job, evidently. The five-goal lead, long pass. That one is off the stick, and it'll be another turnover. That one, Caden Lee didn't have a chance to snatch that one out of the air. Or it was actually Moragas. Quinn gives it up inside. That one gets saved. A great save by McCarthy. Don't hit him hard as we are over halfway through this final quarter. Long ball down the field. Lolly picks it up. Like you say, he's trying to get past the third. And he's able, unable to. He lost it. Got hit from behind by Melnati. Some white jerseys there. And he stepped to the bounds first. Turnover. So after what was a really good third quarter from Holy Cross, they're yet to get it in the back of the net in this fourth. And we think this is the chance they need. A timeout will be called first. Holy Cross takes it. We'll take a timeout ourselves. 12-7 to score here on Fans Only Sports Network. You don't want to miss the final 6.52 of this one.
All right, 6.51 on the clock. Following the timeout from Holy Cross, they'll have a chance on the plus side of the field here. Try to trim this lead back down to four. They've trailed by as much as six. They got to within two in the third quarter, but Providence College scoring the last three goals here today, and they are in position to edge this one out and get in the victory column. So, P, so Holy Cross with a chance. It is Houdin. I'm going to start calling them other Ram names. Here's Smith. Smith, Johnson, etc. Smith charging. Johnson. Back to Smith. Smith going left. Back pedals. Gives it up to Titus. Carter Titus. Here is Smith again. Purple guy. <laughs> Purple guy with blue helmet. <laughs> Purple guy with blue helmet. <laughs> I don't know. Gets it back up to Titus. Right-handed shot. Titus got it saved. Still alive. It's loose. And it's a fight for it. Picked up by Lolly. Yeah, that one came off of Lolly's chest pad outside of the circle. So he had to do a little extra work to be able to get that one. Great scoop up, though. And Providence again opening up the offense. Give and go, and this one's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be a turnover. PC turns it over with 5.43 to go. Low scoring fourth. I mean, just one goal in the period so far as these two teams seemingly have each other's numbers a little bit. On the charge, Johnson going coast to coast. Gives it up. I thought he was going to shoot that and get one for the mixtape right there, but decided not to. Here's Snyder, and this one's off. The stick of Congdon, another turnover for Holy Cross. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that clock was frozen at 5.13 for a good moment. Sure was. I mean, nine-second difference between the two clock showings. For us, you can't see it on the screen. But here's PC, under five minutes to go now. Trying to milk this one out and get a victory in the win column here in some fall ball action. And it's a moral victory when you get these in fall ball because, you know, hey, and that's a goal. Anything. Oh, that snuck in. Sneaks its way in past McCarthy and it's 13 7. And might for all intent and purpose uh, write this one into the, into the books. So PC, in control with big number 97 scoring the goal. And you know, like, like we said many times today, we do not have all the names matched to the players. So we are unfortunate. We, you know, Come see us during the regular regard. season. During the regular season. We <laughs> are going to be ready to rumble. We're going to be hyped to do so. So I mean, the Patriots lost today. So our new favorite team is PC Men's Club who catch a W here today, up six. Just under four and a half to go. This ball is picked up by Mac Henderson going far side. Henderson. Back pedals. Gives it up to Smith. Before we hit the end of this game, though, we'd be remiss if we didn't say a thanks to Jamie McNeely and the NCLL for pulling this broadcast together and we've had a privilege the past year plus of being able to work with Jamie and the NCLL on bringing games of the week from around the NCLL in the New England region and especially to the into the playoffs and everything and it's uh, kind of cool to be second season now here uh, working alongside the NCLL in, in, a, in a league perspective as well since you know we do broadcast PC club, the uh, Bryant club, the Br the Brown club during the season, but um, you know, got to do some really cool games at the NCLL last year, and uh, they reached out about uh, getting this game on, and even though it being a fall game, so uh, looking forward to working with Jamie and the NCLL again on a second season. Sure are. I mean, always some good times at Ch at Chapey Field, just the PC campus in general. 
You know, Providence College giving us a lot of good work the last couple of years. I remember one of my first hockey games was here at Schneider Arena. I didn't know where I was going at first, so core memory. Been had a lot of good memories here at PC. I mean, especially doing these lacrosse games in the spring on senior day. Um, definitely always a good time. So shout out to the NCLL for having us and the boy Jamie. And uh, God bless them all. Yeah, is it going to be our third season of uh, college club lacrosse? Kind of shocking. <laughs> Pretty shocking indeed. Three minutes on the clock. And PC unshockingly has the lead. They have not trailed once in this game. Long here's, stick taken all the way. Here's big 139 who we saw in the box earlier gives it up. Going backwards. I'm not going to get my wish for a long pole goal today. I was hoping to see it for sure. But not all wishes can come true, Matt. Just over two minutes to go here in this one. I think PC is uh, kind of milking the clock here a little bit. As they should, up half a dozen. And I'm sure they're going to want to get another shot off. And we'll be here spinning, shooting. And I'll stay with Providence College as we are officially under two to go here in this one. Well, Providence should be pretty happy with the way they've played in this game today. It certainly executed on a lot of things that they wanted to do. We've seen some good looks out of the players that we expect to see be the key guys for this PC side during the regular season for Holy Cross. I think, you know, they've uh, certainly got some things to work on offensively. And I think, you know, they've got a lot of new guys on this team this year that'll uh, develop in as they go through the rest of the fall ball season and uh, really get things ready to go. And I, I think this Holy Cross team could be a team that might crank some heads up in the, uh, you know, in the spring season. They sure can. They play a little bit better than they did today. I mean, they had a great third quarter, almost came back in it, but they have not scored in the fourth at all. Here's a shot. That one gets saved. I think it may hit the post as well. It's still alive, picked up by McCarthy. Actually, it's not McCarthy. In that now for Holy Cross, JT Roush. Familiar name there. A minute to go here in this fall ball classic. Titus spins out of it. Titus on the charge. Trying to take that left handed shot. Titus scores his second with 38 seconds to go. Carter Titus, you said that was a lacrosse name. And he's able to get two on the board here today. Living up to the to the name. We got a face off and a couple of throws around the field. Put this one to bed. Final 30 seconds. Lolly, let's see what he wants to do here. He's going to fling this one across midfield. Stretched it out for Fleming. Fleming, near side. Final 15. Can PC get one more shot off? Let's see if they want to. They probably could, but it looks like they won't. But yeah, they're going to hold it. <laughs> hold it and let this one go. They're going to call a game. 13 8 to score. PC. Victorious here today. They win it by five. As we are on the edge of the end of this fall ball season. Waiting for spring. And Providence College with some good momentum here today. Winning this one 13-8. Yeah. It's a good, good game. Under uh, very tough weather conditions too. As we said, it's been freezing cold. The rain's been coming down all afternoon. And uh, 
slippery field as well too on this uh, sprint turf field turf surface and uh, both teams did a really good job today I'll tell you what my hands are frigid it's cold we're gonna sign off 13 8 the final Jake get that get them dapping up as, as midfield hammerhead no, that's my boy love Jake 13 8 the final score and some great sportsmanship it wasn't too chippy today but these two teams will see each other in the future from Tim Duffy and Matt Jolis, we'll see you guys all next time here on Fans Only Sports for some more Providence College Friar Club, Club Lacrosse.